this video intended for educational purposes. Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimbird, and welcome back for another Minecraft 1.8 snapshot. This is 14W11B, and believe it or not, we are still finding secret features hidden in the most recent snapshot, including pets letting us know when they die, and creepers striking fear into the hearts of other monsters. And I've also got some awesome new 3D block miles to show off, as you can see down there. So let's get into it. Now, if you've missed the last few snapshot updates, you might want to check out the Endermite, the new parasitic mob, faster minecart, stuff like that. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check out my video on that. But as far as this week's update goes, I'm going to go through these little secret features that were newly discovered. This is Scruffy Pup, my little wolf buddy. And for science, he's going to help us with a little experiment here. I'm sorry, Scruffy Pup. Oh, that's so sad. Rest in peace, little buddy. He turned into a cat. Not really. <laughs> that cat is just flipping out. So if you, as you can see in the lower left, it says Scruffy Pup was slain by me. And if I spawn him up in the air, he'll just fall and he fell from a high place. If I was to do it down here and just you know, light him on fire. That's another way you could see a death message. So what this is basically is pets that have a name. Uh, right now, only wolves will actually have death messages in the chat like they're a player. Now, this doesn't apply to cats or horses, other animals and monsters yet, but right now it's just the wolves. And it's kind of a nice little way if you're adventuring with your pets and you happen to use a name tag on them to give them a cool custom name, it will let you know how they die. So if you've ever been, you know, out in the world and you've had a pet go missing uh, in Minecraft, then it's nice to have peace of mind and know, you know, how they died or when they died, if they fall in a ravine or get blown up or something. So it's it's going to be a little more sad when you see that your pet has died, but at least you'll know what happened to it. Cats are really weird, as I mentioned. They are just, I tamed this one. It's still dashing around everywhere and it won't calm down. Just sit in that pit and think about what you're doing. All right. So yeah, that's that's a new feature. I'm sure they're still going to work on that, but I like the fact that you can see when your wolves die. Hopefully it'll get extended to cats as well. So over here, I have some more awesome 3D block miles to show off. Now, PickRip on Reddit has been compiling all the ones made by the community, and there are a lot more to show, so let's go through them. Now, this is a wooden door with a nice little handle popped out that's pretty cool looking. We've got a furnace with little slots for shoving in your pork and your coal and all that stuff. That didn't sound right. Iron bars over here that are, uh, you know, more 3D and kind of popped out there. We've got the command block with the panels that pop out, a jukebox with a little slot there for your records. We've got sugarcane that actually looks like bamboo now. It's, you know, solid and has little leaves. This is probably my favorite new one outside of maybe these pumpkins over here. We've got the stone brick or the clay brick slabs that have the bricks popping out the cake with the frosting pouring over the side there looks delicious a crafting table with the saw hammer pliers all those tools popping off the side that's pretty cool TNT with the little label wrapped around popping out and then we've got a prickly cactus little spikes and finally this quartz pillar is really cool it's got the little edges popping out there on the ridge that's pretty awesome also, one last one, the trap door, I forgot about this, has, you know, it's a little bit more fleshed out there with the little holes in it and everything. Man, that cat needs to chill. I'm going to try to get him. Come here. There we go. Got him to sit. <laughs> so yeah, those are the new ones. And if you want to download this pack, as I mentioned, PickRip has been compiling all of them and putting them in one handy little pack download. So go check it out. Now, the last thing here, creepers. If you watched one of the recent snapshot updates, you saw that creepers will now scare other creepers away when they're about to explode. So they have a little bit more self-preservation and they will survive to blow you up again another day. Now, this actually applies to other mobs too. And we didn't realize that until today very recently. So skeletons, zombies, zombie pigmen, and witches will all run in fear. Now this is a little weird because zombies and witches, if they lock onto you, like they want to kill you, they will sometimes ignore the creeper. So they still have some work to do on this. But skeletons, because of their range and the pigmen, they're pretty quick to uh, run away from creepers. And it's actually going to make the game a lot harder because you can't just use a creeper to destroy a bunch of monsters real easily and get away with it. So I think it's a nice little update there. Anyways, the developers are at Game Developers Conference for the most part. Most of Mojang's developers are there, so we might not see another snapshot soon, but I'm excited to see what is coming in 1.8. The Endermites, their secrets, their mystery, and Link to the Dragon Egg. I'm very excited. One last thing I forgot to mention, because of these hollowed pumpkins, you can now see the Snow Golem's original face. He's got the little cute snowman face with the weird derpy uh, pebbles stuck in there, so that's pretty awesome. I love that little guy. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, 
please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Maybe subscribe if you haven't. Definitely helps me out, and I will see you next time for more Minecraft 1.8 updates. Goodbye.